that are facing, whether they survive or they fail. Not in 62 days, starting next week. And I want to speak not just to you great patriots, but to anybody else who's listening. We are the American people, and we will not give up this country without a fight, period. You don't get to tell us what to do, when to do it, where to do it. If we want an air conditioning system we like, then by God, we're going to put it in our house, whether you like it or not. Little things and big things, that's left to us. Kamala Harris is an ignoramus. Kamala Harris, listen, is an anti-Semite. And let me be as clear as I know how. The Democrat Party of slavery, of segregation, of eugenics, and Jim Crow is the same damn Democrat Party today, period. Their great Franklin Roosevelt didn't accept Jews. He sent them back to the gas chambers in Germany. No. 1940, the great Democrat Party that gets 80% of the black vote, their great FDR refused to sign a federal ban on lynching. Republican after Republican comes behind this microphone proudly speaks about America, proudly speaks about Israel, proudly speaks about what we believe in. Not one damn Democrat can do it or will do it. They didn't do it at their convention. She's hiding from the press. Biden lies, mumbles, gibberish. That's all we get. At a time like this, a nation defines itself. I said the other day, we have crystal knocks going on in this country every damn day. We have a media in this country that spew the Hamas propaganda. And join me in saying, we as Americans, we as Jews support Donald Trump for President of the United States. We, we as Americans, we as Jews, support Benjamin Netanyahu as Prime Minister of the State of Israel. The Democrats say that Israel has a right to defend itself. Aren't they nice? Israel has a right to kick the shit out of Hamas, Hezbollah, and anybody else. And you know what? You know what? They are kicking the shit out of Hamas, as a matter of fact. I know Donald Trump. I told the group yesterday, he sent me a text out of the blue after he won the Republican primary. You know what he said to me? Thank you for your support. I'm really very excited. And I want you, Mark, to know, I will protect the state of Israel. That's what he told me. Kamala Harris doesn't care about people. We have more slavery going on in this country since the end of the Civil War, right on our southern border. Women sold into sex slavery, children sold into sex slavery. I'm not the border czar. You are the damn vice president of the United States. You know, you can't actually do something about it, but she doesn't. I haven't been to Europe either. She tells us she's dangerous, 
she's stupid, and she's a Marxist Islamist. I'm telling you the truth. Her father's a Marxist. Tell me, what is it about capitalism that she supports, ever? Nothing. Nothing. She keeps the old Soviet playbook on price controls, wage controls. We're going to limit... What kind of people vote for somebody who tells them, we're going to destroy your energy sector? We're going to control the price of food. We're going to, quote unquote, as the New York Times put it, reshape the population. Reshape the population? Let me make something clear. This country doesn't exist for a diabolical party like the Democrat Party. The United States of America exists for the people of the United States, not for the Democrat Party and their power grabs. You know, in communist regimes, it's the party, not the country, that you have allegiance to. In the Democrat Party, it's the party you have allegiance to. They hate our country. <sighs> Did you know they hate our country? How can you support CRT, DEI, ESG, 1619, the attacks on our monuments, the attacks on our Constitution, the attacks on our founders, the attacks on our economic system, the attacks on our sovereignty, the attacks on the cops, the attacks on the military, and tell me you love America. When you want to fundamentally transform America, how many of you are married? Do you say to your wife, I want to fundamentally transform you, but don't worry, honey, I love you. No, you don't fundamentally transform something you love. For us, it's visceral, isn't it? We sit in burning the American flag and replacing it with the Palestinian flag? The hell's that all about? In fact, some of these people are so stupid, they were flying the Italian flag. They didn't realize it's, it's not the <coughs> Palestinian flag. But I want people to understand something. I want Joe Biden to understand something. I want Kamala Harris to understand something and the rest of their party. Who the hell do you think you are to tell us whether we get to live or die? Who the hell do you think you are to tell us whether we get to live in a free country or not? Who the hell do you think you are? You get to decide the price of our food? You get to decide if gasoline is available to us? We're an advanced civilization. We have an industrial society. We are a free people. We get to decide what the price of food is. We get to decide what the price of fuel is. We get to decide if we kick your asses out of office or not. And I suggest to you that if we don't kick their asses out of office, we are going to pay a very, very steep price for this. Very steep price for this. You see, these elections are no longer about little white paper policy differences. They're about freedom versus tyranny. You want to live in a free country or don't you? That's the choice. And for Jewish Americans, the choice is even more dire. This is not going to stop these daily crystal knocks. These universities and colleges are not going to stop because we tell them to stop, or we give good speeches. This is a spreading cancer, and it spreads, and it spreads, and it spreads, and it spreads. This is being funded by Iran and Qatar. It's being funded by the Democrat Party billionaire oligarchs. And it has a home in the Democrat Party. It has a home in the Democrat Party. You heard that young man just say, he went to the DNC. They never spoke up about Israel. They were scared to death. Josh Shapiro, who's a little jerk, by the way, <coughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> they passed over him for obvious reasons. And then he goes to the DNC, and he attacks Trump for being an anti-Semite. 
Jews like this give cover to the anti-Semites. That's what they do. I'm not running for office. I'll say what I damn well please. And I want to tell you something else. Jews today who vote Democrat. You know, I read these books about totalitarians. I read and read and read. And I read these, 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 these people who survived it, many of whom are Jews that survived the Third Reich. You know what they say? It's a, it's a common theme. We never thought it could happen. No free country ever thinks it's going to turn into the Third Reich, ever. But one did. Or into a communist regime, it happens. And more times than not, the people vote for it. The Democrat Party doesn't hate Jews. It doesn't hate it. It's Netanyahu. He's the problem, you see. No you got people in the Democrat Party who hate Jews. You've got faculty who hate Jews. You've got an open immigration system that is importing people into the United States from the Middle East who hate Jews. And the Democrat Party is apparently fine with that. Look how they campaign. Look what they say. Look how they hide Kamala Harris. One of the reasons they're hiding Kamala Harris is because she's an anti-Semite. But she's married to a Jew. The Prime Minister of Britain's married to a Jew, too. Really? And the New York Times was owned by a Jewish family in the 1930s when they covered up the Holocaust. I don't give a damn who you're married to. I don't care about your stupid identity politics. I care about what you believe and what you're going to do. What other evidence do we need? The Democrat Party, as I speak, is withholding weapons from Israel. The Democrat Party is demanding that Israel capitulate to Hamas, which has raped, slaughtered. Let me ask you a question, and this is going to sound misogynist. I don't care. If you're a man out there, if you're a man and you hear about this raping stuff, about your women, your wife, your daughter, your daughter, your niece. You don't cut deals with people like that. You destroy them and you crush them. <clears throat> Jewish women, Jewish women in Israel are not expendable. Oh, okay. It was horrible I, what happened on October 7th. But you Jews, you have to do this. You have, excuse me. We Jews have to take care of business. Israel's never allowed to win. Well, now your prime minister wants to win for once. Win. We talk about forever wars. Been a forever war against Israel since Israel became a state for over 75 years. At some point, the forever war has to come to an end. And the end is now. Where are the Persians? You understand what I mean. I love the Persian Jews. <coughs> They're like the most patriotic Jews on the face of the planet. They just are. But I'm not really talking about you. We're the ancient Persians. They're gone. We're the ancient Babylonians. Before the Persians. They're gone. Where's the Third Reich? They're gone. So I have a little message for the modern day Nazis overseas and abroad. We're not going anywhere. You are. <laughs> you here, you've learned the lessons of history. 
you understand what's taking place in our own country. You see what's taking place in Israel. You see what's going on in Western Europe, in France, where the chief rabbi says, Jews, you have 10 years, you better get out. Or in London, or all. We've had a second crusade of the Islamists, which I separate from the Muslims, the Islamists. There's been a second crusade. It's revolution by immigration. It's happening in our own country, in our own colleges and universities. Now, we can sit back and pretend there's nothing we can do about it but talk to each other and wring our hands and post things on social media. That's all well and good. But if we don't change policies, it's over. It's over for the United States of America. I don't care if the people in the press agree or not. They are co-conspirators with everything that's taking place in this country right now. The fact of the matter is, you see, you hear, you have a brain, you read, you see what's going on, you know what's going on, or you wouldn't be here. Or you wouldn't be here. This is life and death. This is whether you want to have an America that has accepted Jews and everybody else, all minorities, because of this fantastic country founded on Judeo-Christian principles, because of our fantastic Declaration of Independence, because of our fantastic Constitution, which are under attack by the Marxist-Islamist alliance. Now, it's not asking too much to vote which starts next week. But you gotta do more. Use modern technology. Use the email and texting and phone calls. Get a hold of your neighbors. You saw these three young people here. You can have an impact. Tell your fellow Jews. able to go to synagogue? Want to be able to send your kids to whatever college you want? Because right now, those things are up in the air. One other quick thing, then I'll get off the stage here, which is this. I want to thank, that means get the hell off the stage. <coughs> all right. I want to thank all the Gentiles, Christians, non-Christians, who support us, who support this country. And I want to thank you, and I want to get off the stage, because the greatest president in my lifetime is standing by to talk to you. God bless you.